Governor Charlie Baker insisted today the Johnson & Johnson shutdown will not have a huge impact, even with every adult becoming eligible on Monday. WBZ's Christina Hager is in Boston for us tonight. And Christina, we did get some good news today about the other vaccines. Yeah, David, this could help make up the difference. The governor says the federal government is boosting its shipments of Pfizer and Moderna to Massachusetts next week by about 8%. He calls it a moderate increase. Yeah, I would take the J&J &J if it had been available, and I'd still take it. But that hasn't been an option since the federal government hit the brakes on the very vaccine Governor Charlie Baker has praised over and over as a game changer. But I think it's important for the feds to do their homework on this. It was just Monday in Worcester. Governor Baker gave the bad news that Johnson & Johnson doses were dropping in Massachusetts by 85 percent. Makes it really hard to create a sustainable program. Two days later, the governor insists the pause will not significantly hurt the state's plans for Patriots Day, when all residents 16 and older can roll up their sleeves for a shot. Because there's not that much J&J &J that's currently in the pipeline, I don't think it changes that much. This is a program that's built primarily on the, on the back of, of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. Also, starting Monday, Here's the throw. Boston's beloved baseball team partners with the state for Red Sox Week. As many as 20,000 appointments at the Heinz Convention Center reserved for residents of hard-hit communities. Red Sox President Sam Kennedy said he spoke with manager Alex Cora. So I'm going to tell the Gov, uh, Alex said, whatever he needs to do to help spread the word uh, in the community about the importance of vaccination, uh, he's all in. And as for Monday, the governor says it may take people several weeks to get an appointment once they log on. He also says his tech teams have been testing the website and he is confident it can stand up to the traffic as people log on. At the Heinz Convention Center, Christina Hager, WBZ News.